Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another TR09 video. In this video it's pretty simple, we're going to go through three steps. That's backing up our tracks and patterns onto a Windows 10 laptop or computer and then restoring those back onto the system and also when we're happy that we've got our tracks and patterns backed up somewhere safe we'll do a factory reset. However, if you want to check out my other videos on the TR09, we go through pretty much every function on the unit, not just how to operate and push the buttons and what they do, but to also get a performance out of this machine and to play it like any mu musician would. So it, I'll link that here. And if you stay tuned and subscribe, there will be more videos like this to follow. Okay, so before you get started, what you want to make sure you do is you're not one of those people that have bought a cheap USB cable that will only charge a phone and that you've got a decent USB cable that can handle the voltage needed to power the unit and also transfer the data or the and the audio to your laptop. So you can see there I've got it connected via a decent cable. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now I've got the USB cable plugged into the laptop from the TR09 is just switch it on at the back of the unit. So, yep, there we go. It's setting up um, the boutique device. So in the meantime, while that's setting up, if you hold down the Windows button and press R on the keyboard and type in DEVMGMT.MSC in the uh, dialog just as uh, it's depicted there this will bring up uh, the task manager uh, sorry the device manager for windows 10 and just okay to that and then you can see uh, it's just refreshing a couple of times just finishing off the install there if you go to your audio inputs and outputs you can see you've got your four tr09 inputs and you've got your one output and the JDXI there is just uh, the synthesizer I'm using to record the narration for this video so don't worry too much about that and then if you go down to your sound video and games controllers just expand that you can see you've got your TR09 um, audio driver as well via U audio via USB uh, so that just means all the drivers are there and installed and happy and then you can just close that and then just switch the unit off and that's job done. So what we'll do now that we've got the TR09 drivers installed onto the Windows 10 laptop is we'll look at backing up the patterns and tracks that we've currently got on the device. So if you just hold down the start button and switch the unit on and with it obviously still connected to the laptop via the USB cable it should bring up the folder containing the backups that are on or the patterns and tracks that are on the TR09 there we go uh, so all I usually do just for demonstration purposes is make a new folder on my desktop I'm just going to rename this TR09 backups and then open that so I can just check that they're in there yep there we go and then just right hand click copy or you can use the keyboard shortcuts and paste into the folder on the desktop simple as that job done and then I'm just going to eject the TR09 and it can be safely switched off now and then just switch the unit off So when it comes to factory resetting the unit, even though you've backed all your patterns up, you will lose your gain, compression, decay on certain instruments, tuning on certain instruments, and also uh, any mode that you have it in or USB configuration. But if you're happy with that, all we do is hold down number two and switch the unit on. When it comes on, the enter will be blinking. So press the enter button. And then you'll see that the uh, the LEDs go across the 16 step sequencer. Takes a few moments. Uh, 
and then when they are blinking away like a Christmas tree just uh, switch the unit off and then restart the unit back up again and we should be good to go so now if you want to take your backups or your patterns and tracks from your laptop back onto the tr09 obviously with the device powered off press and hold the start button while you power the unit back on and just keep the start button held down until you see the window appear so now what i'm going to do is take uh, the backups that i've got on the laptop just move it to one side so we don't get mixed up put the backups onto the device the backup folder uh, onto the tr09 and then obviously you're going to replace all the files in the destination folder I haven't tried it but it might work with individual files if you just want to back up one pattern have a little play see what happens let me know in the comments so once the files have uh, finished copying on your laptop or PC you just need to confirm uh, the copy process on the TR09 so if you just hit enter you'll see the lights flashing away you may also notice that your TR09 has disconnected from your PC and then just give it a couple of moments and once the lights um, stop doing their thing it will say done at this point we're okay to power cycle the unit again thank you for watching that was a sh another short video on how to install onto Windows 10 backup factory reset and restore your tracks and patterns uh, next video I will most likely cover how to update the latest firmware but once again subscribe stay posted like and I'll see you next time